before solving this question let us discuss laws of exponents according to the laws of exponents x raised to the power m multiplied by x raised to the power n it is x raised to the power m plus n we can use this law in reverse order we can write x raised to the power m plus n as x raised to the power m multiplied by x raised to the power n here in the numerator we have a term 2 raised to the power n minus 1 we can write it as 2 raised to the power n plus minus 1 okay and using this law we can rewrite it as 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 1 okay similarly in the denominator we have 2 raised to the power n plus 1 so 2 raised to the power n plus 1 simply we can write it as 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 so using these two substitutions we can rewrite the given quantity as 2 raised to the power n it is as as it is and 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 1 the denominator can be rewritten as 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 minus 2 raised to the power n we see that there is a term 2 raised to the power n which is common in both of the terms in numerator as well as in the denominator so we can write it as a common term outside the bracket and inside the bracket you will have 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 1 this is all about the numerator in the denominator after taking common number outside the bracket you will have 2 raised to the power n and whole multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 minus 1 2 raised to the power n in the numerator and 2 raised to the power n in the denominator they can be reduced so after cancellation we will have 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 1 and then 2 raised to the power 1 minus 1 in the denominator it is 1 minus 1 by 2 in the numerator and in the denominator you will have 2 minus 1 that is 1 so it is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2 and the final result is 1 by 